GTA 4 is the best game that I have played in the past 10 years. This is a game that's uh, full of violence, full of explosions, full of lovely ladies of the night, and uh, in good old true GTA fashion, it's also uh, full of lots of jokes and uh, inside commentary. Nico Bellic is the main character in GTA, but the real star is the city. Liberty City is based off of New York, and you'll see a lot of famous landmarks from, you know, the Brooklyn Bridge to the Empire State Building to the Statue of Liberty, but each with their own little twists that make them kind of a part of the GTA universe rather than being actual New York. And there's just an incredible amount of detail in the city. Uh, from the pedestrians that you see walking around, you know, if you just walk around the city, you won't really see the same person twice. There's so much variety. This dude better watch himself. The combat in GTA 4 has been greatly improved from what we saw in San Andreas and other Grand Theft Auto games in the past. Now the biggest change is to the targeting system and with the addition of a cover system. The cover system is a really big part of the game though. And it's not something artificial where, you know, it says, oh, here's this one block you can get behind. Pretty much the entire city is open, so anything you can see you can get behind. If you want to drive a car into an area where there's a bunch of gang members, swerve it around, hop out of the car, and just use it as cover, you can do that. You can blind fire even with an RPG, uh, you know, you can pop and shoot, and the enemies will actually use cover too, so the AI is a lot smarter than it used to be. And the visuals are so much stronger than they've been in any GTA game in the past. Now, obviously, this is the first GTA game on the new generation of consoles, uh, and Rockstar has really made use of the technology. Everything runs a lot better. You don't have a ton of the frame rate issues that used to plague the game in the past. There aren't a lot of bugs either in the game, and it just looks gorgeous. Whether you're looking at the 360 version or the PS3 version, you see so much detail in the environments, and especially at night, the city just lights up, and it really is like New York, you know? In the day, it looks alright, it's just kind of a big crowded city, but when you get in the nighttime, especially, say, if you're taking a helicopter ride, and you look down at the city, it really is a marvel of architecture. Then on top of all this great stuff in the single-player campaign, which will take you anywhere from 30 to 45 hours to complete, you've also got multiplayer. And the multiplayer is ridiculous because it's 16 people online in Liberty City with the entire city open. The cops can be on, the pedestrians can be on, the traffic can be on. Everything that you experience in the single player game, minus the storyline, actually exists in the multiplayer for up to 16 people to play in. And all the multiplayer is really inventive and really fun. And just living in that city uh, with so much going on, it's a true feat, a true technical feat. And, uh, you know, even if the single player wasn't that great, the multiplayer is enough to make GTA 4 worth buying. It's been nearly a decade since IGN gave any game a 10, but there's a reason why that's changed now. GTA 4 is simply one of the best games I've ever seen. Uh, the single player has an incredible amount of depth. Uh, the city is absolutely stunning to just walk around in, and the multiplayer is one of the best that I've ever seen as well. As an entire package for only 60 bucks, whether you buy it on 360 or PS3, uh, you're getting a game that probably is worth spending $300 on. Uh, certainly worth picking up, uh, definitely the best of the series, and, you know, easily a contender for Game of the Year.